this stuff has been the stuff that's been uniting Republicans, even those who up to now really weren't that keen on Donald Trump. They're coming back into the fold, coming home, as that expression goes. Former Republican governor of Mississippi, former head of the Republican National Committee, uh, Haley Barber with us right now. Uh, governor, very good to have you. Uh, Thank you, Neil. Polls seem to bear this out, sir, that, that you're noticing more of the, not only the base of the party, but the, 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 the bosses, the old boss of the party, the, the chieftains, as it were, are coming back uh, to Donald Trump and in numbers that are fairly convincing. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, I think life's a series of choices. That's what my mama taught my two brothers and me when we were growing up, that the choices, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, I'm going to be for Donald Trump. And I think millions of Republicans who Donald Trump is not their cup of tea. He wasn't their first choice, but they're down to this choice, Clinton or Trump. And of the two, they'd rather have Trump. Now, um, I'm always wondering for the next surprise. Uh, you know this campaign is gone, Governor. I mean, we have eight days in November, right? So uh, I I'm wondering uh, if there's more to come and how you advise, whether it comes on the right or the left, uh, Republicans to act. Well, look, we'd just be guessing. But here's what we know. The American people won't change. About two out of three American voters say the country's going in the wrong direction, and that number's been over 60% for three years. Americans are scared and they're mad. So what I want to see us do is talk more about Obama's bad policies, the bad results that have, have come from those policies, that Hillary Clinton is going to just be a third term for Obama on steroids, but that Donald Trump is going to do some things to change the economy, to create jobs, to clean up the Obamacare mess, less regulation that is red tape that smothers businesses and job creation in the United States, the explosion of crime in the United States it has to be dealt with. And if this election's about issues, then Hillary Clinton's going to lose because the American people won't change. She's trying to make the election about, I know you won't change, but Donald Trump is unacceptable change. Well, I got news for her. Hillary Clinton being the candidate of change is like me being the spokesman for Weight Watchers. <laughs> it is not going anywhere.